Yo, what's poppin' y'all? As y'all peep, I'm finna do another Q&A. Uh, honest Q&A. Yeah, my last video, I did one. And I low-key wanted to put more questions, but it, it was gonna be like an hour-long video, and I didn't wanna, you feel me? Unless y'all gonna watch that, though. If y'all was gonna watch that, I'll do it for y'all. But, yeah, let me know in the comments if y'all want, you know what I'm saying, a long, long one. This one, I don't know. I, I ain't gonna really, like, think on it too much, but I know for a fact we finna just get straight into it. Uh, yeah, y'all was asking me a lot of questions. It was really did some good questions, you feel me? And like I said, it's finna be an honest Q&A. Now, if it's just something crazy, y'all already know I ain't gonna read it, you feel me? Because we keeping it. Yeah, like I said, we finna get straight into it. And uh, for the most part, bro, on these questions, I'm just gonna be scrolling down. You know what I mean? I put it on my story. If you don't follow me yet, definitely follow me on the Instagram. You know what I'm saying? It's just my name, Phil Kofer. And we, I ain't gonna lie, bro. Like, God been moving, just moving, just crazy, man. Just my whole platform just been going crazy, man. And I just wanna honestly, before we even start the video, again, I ain't talking too long, but I just wanna give a thanks to y'all, first of all. You know what I'm saying? Honestly, from the bottom of my heart, I wanna say I appreciate y'all for rocking with me, man. Appreciate y'all for just tuning in, watching my videos showing love just everything bro i say that to say because instagram is going up we finna hit 100k on instagram dog probably at 100k on you know what i'm saying youtube we at 155 man so yeah 100k on instagram is just crazy bro and the way i think about it too i don't i ain't really thinking about oh dang more followers i get to you know what i mean more publicity it, it's not about that i think just i think of it in the sense of the more i go up the more people get to know more about god just how god can use just anybody you know what I'm saying? Even the person that just messed up a thousand times into the person that did this, this, that. You know what I'm saying? And I'm front and center with all the imperfections. I'm front and center with everything. You feel me? And uh, yeah, man, we finna go ahead and get straight into the video. Uh, first question, what do you feel is your biggest struggle in life right now? My biggest struggle in life, honestly, bro, like I'll keep it 100, I'll probably say consistency. And I say consistency in the sense of not just for, you know what I'm saying, just for one month, not just for just a few weeks. I'm talking about just to keep doing it, keep doing the routine over and over and over. I think a lot of times I'll do my routine, but it'll be like something in the sense of like, dang, I guess I'll slip up on, or I'm saying I wouldn't do my routine all the way through. And that's what I mean with a consistent man. And not really like on a military mindset, you feel me? But it's just more so like consistency and I guess being more getting out of my comfort zone. You know what I mean? I think everybody, I think that's just a known thing in general. Everybody likes to be in the comfort zone and just be just even to this day learning how to get out the comfort zone and you know what I'm saying? Try new things, start new things and just, yeah, that's what I'm learning to myself too and uh, be able to take take all types of risks. Somebody asked me, when's the last time you ate meat? Uh, shoot. Honestly, it's been a minute since I ate meat. I'll probably say three. Actually, nah, hold on, bro. <laughs> hold on. It's gonna be a quick story, but I ain't gonna cap, bro. I, I ate meat, I wanna say last summer, bro. I, I honestly, I messed up on my part. It wasn't cause I, I was like, I was like fiending for or searching for meat, bro. I ate at this uh, Chinese food spot. And online they said it, it was vegan. And I was slipping up. I was eating fake vegan food. Yeah, I went to the spot, went to the Chinese spot, and I'm asking for it. I was like, Y'all got vegan y'all got vegan food here? I'm just messing around. I'm just really just kind of just I get start a conversation like type deal before I order. They was like, Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they gave me the menu. But I ain't know it was two separate menus where it's like one's is vegan food menu and then one is the regular. So I'm looking at the menu and everything, and it's in Chinese, but I'm like, dang, they having this, they having that. Like, ooh, I'm finna go. Stupid, I'm telling you. I'm looking at all the food. I'm like, these folks having shrimp, vegan shrimp. I'm like, I ain't never heard of that before. And I'm thinking like, I know in general, like y'all, I tell y'all all the time that vegan stuff, it ain't it. That impossible meat ain't it or none of that. Like y'all know I'm gonna keep it a hun done, a honey bun with that, you feel me? So I get I get a uh, some teriyaki chicken or whatever and I get some rice or whatever. And it was saying like vegan and stuff. I ate, I come back to the crib. I'm like, oh, they were busting. Like I'm, oh going crazy and i'm in my mind i'm like bro for some reason bro i'm like <laughs> like this mud tastes like real chicken for real like they they throwing down in there then i get to eat more eat more i'm like nah bro something ain't right bro like this mud tastes too like you feel me too real so i low-key like i backed off and i threw it away i'm like i'm thinking in my head like ain't no way i just ate meat like <laughs> ain't no way like yeah i go so i short story i go the next day and i was really just double back and kind of just to like just to see like so i go in there 
I was like, I got the, uh, it's a new new worker here. So I go in, I was like, y'all got uh, vegan food here? Just trying to start conversation again, whatever, before I order. He was like, oh yeah, yeah, here's the vegan menu. I say, bro, come on, bro. These folks just set me up, bro. And then the lady, and then I asked, I was like, so y'all well, got two menus? And I'm in this mud like, bro, these folks just set me up, bro. Bro, and that just had me like, it had me heated, bro, because I'm like, if I ever went back to, which I won't, but if I ever did something like that, I would want to slip up on some Chick-fil-A. I just wasted my slip up on some, come on, man. So that's, that's what happened with that. And I just, yeah, that last time I really ate meat, but since then, like, nah. Do you have someone in your life that you can go to for higher advice? Honestly, bro, I do. I have some people at the church, but uh, I'm honestly, to keep the 100, I'm just getting like kind of comfortable for real. Like, if anybody know me, bro, like I honestly, growing up wise, I ain't really like speak on too much. And if I did, it would be kind of like the people close to me and it would just be like, I just would kind of just to myself a lot. So I'm really like, I honestly, I'm getting out of it. And sometimes I be doing it without even knowing. Like I just be, you know what I'm saying, I just be like, dang, I ain't really speak for real. Like I ain't really, you know what I mean? And it'll be in a sense of like, I'll even be catching myself. Sometimes I'll go to church and I'll just say hi and bye to everybody and I'll just walk out. But it wouldn't be in a sense of like, I ain't rocking with nobody or not talking to nobody. It'd just be like, I'll be catching myself. As soon as I leave, I'll be like, dang, I gotta stop doing that. Like. You kind of got to get out your, like I said, comfort zone and just mingling and stuff. And the thing about it, bro, I can talk like, you feel me? I ain't nervous to talk to nobody or awkward or nothing like that. It just be, yeah, I guess I'm trying to like get out that mindset. And I know God for a fact working on me with that. But what has been your hardest part of your walk with Christ? I think the hardest part was in a sense of like, like just getting away from the old self. And it, st it still is hard, but just cause I was so, like I'm so used to it. Like my parents was going through stuff and just, yeah, my life was just crazy for real, but it'll be, I'll be leaning to so much stuff that I done got comfortable with that, with that stuff. If that be playing with women or just going to the club, like just everything worldly, bro, you can think of honestly, bro. And it'll be in a sense of like, uh, yeah, I was so used to like kind of just using that as comfort. Like I'll even be buying stuff I know I shouldn't have bought or this and that. It kind of just, you know what I'm saying? It'll be kind of, like I said, comfort, trying to comfort you just from pain and stuff you're going through and stuff. So it'll be me trying to get out of that and leaning on God more. And sometimes I'll be I'll be straight for a whole time and where I'm just leaning on God, I'll be like, man, God, thank you, thank you. And then it'll just be a time where it just, like, you just kind of just start and want to go back to your old stuff, old ways of eating, old ways of lust, old ways of, you know what I'm saying? Like, just everything, bro. And that's where I'm I'm even working on to this day, you feel me? And, and yeah, bro, I just got to constantly, like, I'm learning that you got to die to your, your flesh every single day. It's not a, just a one day thing. It's an every single day. And sometimes when you even give your your flesh a little foothold or a little step in the dough, it can lead to a whole bunch of other stuff. You know what I'm saying? And where you just, you falling way, way farther than you should be. What you're trying to do is, and I just seen somebody a quote or something on it. I think Prophet Love said it, but it's like, you're trying to have a spiritual person on earth. You know what I'm saying? And let the worldly person go. Yeah, we finna go deep on this Q&A. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie to y'all. Why Florida and have you ever considered LA? Why, why not? Shoot, honestly, that's the next step. I ain't gonna cap down to y'all. Like LA, it go, Florida was my main thing where I wanted to be at, but LA was one of those things where I was like, yeah, I wanna be out there. And I wanna be out there in the sense of like, I ain't finna get jiggy with everybody or jiggy with, you know what I'm saying? The world the way of LA, I'm talking about, I wanna be front and center to LA, but I wanna do a guy's way where they like, hold on bro, what you doing? This ain't, this ain't the way. I'm like, hey, I'm here cause head honcho told me to be here. <laughs> I'm walking in his step. You happy, content with where you are in life right now? Uh, yeah, I'm blessed. Honestly, I'm blessed. I ain't gonna lie, I'm blessed. Like, thing where I'm living at right now, like everything that's going on in my life right now, all the stuff that I would be thinking about in college, like I would want to do when I, I guess I'll get done with basketball. Like everything that's happening right now, it's all things that I've been wanting to do. <laughs> like I literally just step, I'm, like I'm stepping in it, but it's by the grace of God. Like it's in the sense of like, I'll be like, God, like, dang, like why are you blessing me so much? Like even when I mess up, I fall, like, it's, it's still something that will come up the next day and it's just like, like, why you love me so much? Like, what did I do? I be thinking like that, bro. I be like, man, God, like, why you chose me? You feel me? And, yeah. And I don't want to be content because you can always, not even just be better, but you can always keep leveling up because that's how life is. Life is always about to change. You feel me? How many kids do you want to have? Bro, I probably want to have, like, I want to say two. I want to have two boys and then. If I have two boys and then, shoot, if two other come, I'll be cool with that too if I have four maybe, but 
After four, I'm cool. Honestly, la, I do want to keep it at two. Just had two sons. Have the negative sides of social media ever felt overwhelming to you? Negative side of social media? I would say in the sense of like comments or what people would like, I guess would say, if someone said something bad through social media or through the DMs, I really honestly, and I, I'm saying this from the heart, I really do not even take it really serious. I think the only thing that be having me is when I be scrolling too much on social media and I be like, dang, I just waste ton of hours, bro. So I kind of guess, I guess I would get down on myself and it says like I could have been doing something else instead of just scrolling on social media. So I'll probably say that's the negative side for me. And I was just talking to somebody else about that in the sense of like, like we honestly be wasting our lives scrolling through this. I ain't saying it's bad because they got a lot of good knowledge too, but it's a lot of negative stuff where you can just flood your brain, which I know we shouldn't be taking this much information and stuff with it. But, and yeah, I'm still working on it to this day <laughs> to stop this scrolling because this junk will mess you up, bro. Why are you such a loader? Why don't you trust easily? Well, I don't know who told you that trust, but <laughs> nah, I just playing. But uh, shoot, I want to say like, bro, before, before I say this all the time, but before I was here, bro, I was always with somebody. Like I was literally always with somebody. I live with my brother. Before this, before that, I was live with roommates. Like I would be around teammates. Like it's because we play. I played basketball, so I was always around people. You feel me? So uh, yeah, like this is really my first time. I really was by myself. Like honestly, I was really by myself. I don't really want to quite say I'm like just a loner. Like I'm like I, I do this or nothing like that. But I would say like this year is the year where I'm like okay, God, like I need some Christian friends. I need some folks around me. You feel me? Because I got so used to just being alone, and it's like all right, um, you feel me? Like it's like I feel like I'm out that season now where I knew I needed to be separated. But it's like, all right, now, now I know that guy is trying to get me out of, I guess, the being alone type of type of vibe. Even like Jesus wasn't even alone. You know what I mean? So who am I? <laughs> I honestly do believe when you separate yourself, that you got to go through that little loner phase where it's like you kind of got to just, it's going to be you and you, and it's going to be you and God. You know what I'm saying? And the fasting was like enhancing all this stuff where I would just sit back and just think about all the stuff I went through, just just everything, you feel me? It definitely helps though. What age did you lose your virginity? I lost my virginity in uh, college. Literally, as soon as I went to college, like, <laughs> it was, yeah, so I'll probably 18, 17, but uh, yeah, I felt straight in the lust. Are you interested in dating older women? Uh, what's older like? What, you, what age you talking about? It depends, like, I feel like, look, I'm 26. I don't know, I kind of do want, you know what I'm saying? Somebody that's close to my age, kind of just, not saying nothing older is like bad, but yeah. I would definitely say probably closer to my age. How do you stay disciplined with accomplish your goals? What I'm learning now too is the way to stay disciplined is you gotta plan out your day. And I, if anything, you don't gotta plan out the whole day, but just plan out your morning. I'm saying when you do your morning and when you plan out your morning, make sure you do everything that you do not like to do. So you in that mindset of doing everything uncomfortable. So you keep doing that, keep doing that. You don't get so used to being uncomfortable that down the road, you can be like, man, it's easy. Like this ain't nothing, you feel me? So stay off the phone at night so you can get enough sleep to be be able to wake up early in the morning too so what made you want to go vegan definitely my parents but it was more in the sense of like after my parents we wouldn't really eat the best you feel me we really wouldn't eat the best we eat out and i would just be thinking like dang like me in my head i ain't gonna get too deep again i need to make a patreon so i can get even deeper but i'm gonna just keep it short story definitely my parents like it opened my eyes to a lot of stuff because I used to think that cancer just it was something that just come out of nowhere like oh my gosh you have cancer like how'd you get that not in the sense of by the food we eat, you know what I'm saying, what we put on our skin and stuff, but I ain't gonna go too deep, cause you know, y'all know what's up. <laughs> but uh, yeah, once I start, and I don't even like, I don't even like the, the the word vegan either, bro. Cause vegan, like when I say vegan, I don't even like to say that, cause it it's, it kind of promotes the impossible meat and all that type stuff, which would be all made in the lab. So yeah, I don't, you feel me? Like yeah. I just like to say raw fruits and vegetables and stuff, so, or plant-based, I guess. Check the ingredients, check the stuff y'all be eating, or all of us be eating. Check the stuff on y'all deodorant, just, just start checking a lot of stuff and just ask yourself, like, what, why is this even in here? Why is this ingredient in there? And if you can't, if you can't spell it or you can't understand how to say it or it probably ain't it. How do you stay motivated? My parents. I ain't saying I'm like that every day. I be having, I still be, even sometimes I have down days, you feel me, where it's like, dang, I, I start, you know what I'm saying? You moping and stuff like, you just have the mindset of like, I just want to have money or I just want to have this for myself or this and that. You're going to always stay unmotivated because you're going to just be doing it straight for yourself. But if it's like, not saying you can't do it for yourself, but you know what I'm saying? But you have something else in the sense of like, I'm saying I'm doing it for my parents. I'm doing it for my family. Like I'm doing it for generations. Like you have that other mindset to give you that little boost where it helps you a lot. So I definitely say like, find your why. 
of why you, you know what I'm saying, why you want to do what you do for real. It's right person, wrong time, I think, for you. I say, yeah, I can agree with that for sure. Because sometimes I feel like the girl might be the right person, or the dude might be the right person. You might be dealing with stuff still that's God trying to get rid of. So I would say I do think like that, where it's like, you know what I'm saying, maturing and stuff is not bad. And then also, it can kind of be in a sense of like, shoot, y'all can also grow together too. Ain't nothing wrong with that either. But it's a time when y'all both know y'all right. You feel me? If it's like you still dealing with stuff and you know like, man, I ain't, you know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like God, it's nothing wrong with letting God work a lot of things out of you, you feel me? But what qualities do you look for in a partner? I'll probably say a lot like a loving heart yeah like kind of just you feel me like that peace mindset where it's like yeah she loving you for you and gotta have god first for sure i ain't just saying just the god first just just the cliche you having god first and everything where it's like if we you know what i'm saying we having an argument you you going to god you know what i'm saying because i know whatever god gonna tell you is gonna help me out it's gonna help you out it's gonna help us out you know what i'm saying in the sense of even me we we argue or something go down like i'm going to god it's like it's gonna always be the centerfold. Like it's gonna always bring everything together. You feel me? So I definitely say that too for sure. And a person that's like, feel me? like just just try stuff. Like you might not agree with what I got going on, but it's like, all right, shoot, let me try it out. Just cause I'm saying my husband doing. You feel me? Like let me see what he got going on. Probably some more tricks too. But yo, those are the ones I'm thinking on right now. What's the most important thing for you in life? Probably change as much people as I can. Help as much people as I. Can. on every level how do you maintain a peaceful life See, my life ain't always peaceful bro like it ain't always like i still be having my days where like you know what i'm saying just be thinking about my parents bro i just be thinking thinking a lot just but sometimes it'd be like it'd be a negative day thing where i just snap out of it like i ain't just staying in it too long you feel me but how to maintain that peace bro it's like you gotta know that all this be temporary once you once you figure it out like once you go deep and you figure it out that all this stuff right here all this worldly stuff and how we looking at things like this body is all temporary you feel me like yeah so when you think of it like that it kind of give you that mindset like man i might as well go as hard as i can you feel me like might as well being out of nature being out of nature and just being in god's presence be it'll help you put you at peace more than what you think how old are you i'm 26 i probably said that in my last video body the bodybuilding industry sucks i think all supplements and powders aren't healthy honestly look i ain't gonna go too deep i ain't gonna get into that but all i'm saying is look in the back of the ingredient how come you haven't found somebody special yet it's hard in my spot bro like it, it's hard like i ain't gonna cap down to y'all it's hard i look good you know what i'm saying and it's just yeah it's like you want to find the right one i'll be knowing like what girl i want so it's in a sense of like if i even went on a date with somebody or i'm kicking with somebody i'd be like man this is not the one it's nothing against their personality no nothing i just be knowing i just be i can't even explain bro i just be knowing like Nah, I don't think this nah, this ain't my wife. Even when the girls I done talked to before, like way back then and stuff, I'll be knowing like I ain't I'm just in here for lust. Like I know, like I'll be knowing myself. I don't really like Shawty or nothing like that. I was messing up. I'll be stupid. When I like somebody, it says a lot. Like, yo, I don't really be liking people like that. Honestly, like when I'm going for a girl for lust, and I don't know when I'm going for a girl where it's like I like Shawty. Like I, I need her. You know what I'm saying? Like I need her. You feel me? Yo, you know what I'm saying? When she talking about God, you know what I'm saying? She just, I need her. You ever consider making a podcast channel? For sure. For sure. We gonna act on that. You get a Hellcat. I was low-key just talking about this the other day. I don't like the word Hellcat. It just be bugging me for real. But honestly, if I upgraded from this car, I'll probably be a track hawk for real. I'll probably get a track hawk. Have you ever dealt, have you ever dealt with doubt or fear in the direction God has called you to go? Um, shoot. For sure. I feel like that's that's gonna come with everything that God, if God leading you, it's gonna come like that. Because like you say, God thoughts are not our thoughts. So a lot of time he he got a whole plan and we like, yo, what are you trying to do? You know what I'm saying? Cause it just looks so outrageous sometimes where it's like, God, what is going on? So I feel like a lot of times it's gonna be like that. Like even when I moved to Florida, I was like, yo, what? Like, I don't know what I'm finna do. I don't know this and that. Like I had people over here, of course, but it's like, I ain't know what's, what was gonna be next. And YouTube just boom, bang, boom, bang, bang. You know what I'm saying? It started to go up even more. Is YouTube your only source of income? Yeah. <laughs> YouTube is definitely my only source of income right now. I do YouTube, I do sponsorships. Yeah, those are my main ones right now. So I'm honestly blessed for it <laughs> and I thank God for it. But I'm definitely trying to work on some other incomes because you already know how YouTube be. It could just, it could go left. So I'm low key taking a risk too, but I know God gonna cover a lot of stuff. You feel me? And 
He has been covering a lot of stuff. So it's only up for here. It's like how I think it's like I can't even go backwards. Like it's like only way I go backwards is if I mess up myself. Like if I I'm, I bring myself down. You feel me? But I, it's it's only up. How do you deal with the anxiety of failure? You gotta know you're gonna fail. <laughs> like you got you gotta know that sometimes it's gonna happen like that. Sometimes you're gonna mess up. Sometimes like that's the I guess you can call it beauty about it though. But you ain't gonna fail each and every time. You're gonna have that one time where you're gonna, you're gonna pull through and you might even pull through on the first time. I'm saying, but that's the, like, it's, I feel like that's life. There's nothing wrong with being scared about it or doing it because you don't need to have, like, courage. You, when you have courage, you don't really have, just have to have no fear at all. Courage can mean you can be fearful, and you, but you're still going for it. You know what I'm saying? So I wouldn't have no anxiety about it, bro, even if it's just, yeah, like, you're going, it's going, you might have fear, but. I say still get up and do it. You know what I'm saying? Still get up and push through. You know what I mean? Cause that time you push through could be that time where you just you going all the way through with it. You know what I'm saying? So how did you know you were called to do YouTube? When I started to get a lot of like messages and stuff that just people getting like people lives changing, people stopping from suicide committing suicide, and like I'll be getting a whole bunch of messages where I'd be like, yo, <laughs> like God really using me. Like God really God really using me. So that's kind of when I started to realize I was being called for it. And shoot, kind of, honestly, bro, God really showed me too. <laughs> like, I'm a dreamer. Like, I'm a heavy dreamer. And I know that's very spiritual, but I'm a heavy dreamer. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. How do you get over a past relationship when it was your fault? Man, you gotta forgive yourself. Forgive yourself and even message the person. Even if they, they don't respond, just, you know what I'm saying, apologize to them. When you when you get all that out the way, man, you feel a lot better. Or just even if it's ain't a relationship, like or even if it's just a friendship, like just say, man, I apologize, man. Like I mean, even if they don't respond, it's just good that you get that off your chest too. Do you want a Christian girl, man? For sure. Yeah, man, bro. Y'all ask me so many, it's so much question. I want to keep going, but it's so you feel me? Like I gotta end it right here, man. But yeah, man, I appreciate y'all for watching. And again, if y'all haven't already, man, make sure you go ahead and follow me on the Instagram. You know what I'm saying if not. Y'all know it's still all love. <laughs> but uh, I just say that to say, like I said, man, we about to hit 100K on uh, Instagram, man. It's a blessing. And I, again, I want to say appreciate y'all. You know what I'm saying? And God bless y'all. And I hope y'all doing well too, man. Just hope y'all doing well in all aspects, man. But uh, yeah, that's it for the video, man. Hope y'all like the q and If y'all want me to do another one later down the road, it's probably going to be a little minute because I don't want to just keep putting the Q&As out like that. You feel me? But uh, yeah, man, if y'all want another one, let me know. Even if y'all want to ask some questions in the comments, I'll be down to, uh, you know what I'm saying, answer those in the comment section too. Because I know I can't get to each and every one. Because if I did, I would be here for two hours long. You feel me? But again, thank y'all, man. I'll catch y'all in the next video.